Hi everybody, it is Casey Wynn. Here with me today is Penelope Felix Seha. She's an independent trader. Hi you guys. Penelope, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to meet all your beautiful people out there. <laughs> to get started, can we give the audience a little bit of a background on who you are? Well, my name is Penelope. Hi, you guys. And I love the beautiful space that we're in, which is blockchain and crypto. I'm a fanatic. I'm a true believer. And I have been in this space now for a couple of years. I started out actually programming, and I switched over when I saw um, the lucrative side <laughs> of it. When was it when you saw the lucrative side? Actually, the lucrative side was, I would say, maybe around two years ago. I really, really started seeing that this was more than I had, more than I could have imagined. And I really became sold in on the benefits of it. I just realized that this was the future. And not only just the money, but mm -hmm. the money is a great perk, but it's really like, creating a new a new frontier this is the wild wild west it's extre it's extremely volatile and that's what makes it absolutely fabulous so you saw the lucrative side yes. first but then you learned a little bit more yes. on what it actually is yes how did you learn that information or did you just know from your programmer background well it's actually it's it's twofold it's i looked at it from my science background and I also looked at it from finance background. But my finance background is something that I took in upon myself. Like I took hours of studying, I took hours of, you know, staying on trading view and looking at what was happening and literally not knowing what the hell was happening. And still even now, like I think that that's that's part of the essence of the volatility of crypto is that we don't know really what's happening but i think that's part of its magic because it's such a fluid being that it's really the only place where you can thrive if you allow yourself to you know go with it and go with the flow and make mistakes and grow from them but it's not for people that are attached. You can't be an emotional person. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to roll with the punches. For the people who don't have any experience in trading and want to get into the space and do not know where to start, where would you suggest that they start? Well, actually, if you're going to start trading, and I believe, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's, it's actually one of the few places where you're completely safe. Nobody, you can be sitting in your pajamas, <laughs> drinking your coffee, eating your burger, whatever it is, just sitting alone. Nobody's gonna bother you. Nobody's gonna hassle you just with your computer. And you can do it and be absolutely productive. So that's one of the things that I love about it. It's my own personal space with no interference from anybody. But of course, I would say the first steps are, I would just, research it I would go do basic things like don't buy any books and the only reason I say don't buy any books are because this is such a quickly moving technology that anything that is in print is already antiqu antiquated so you need to find stuff on the web on YouTube um, look for people that you admire excuse me mentors but the thing is also once you look once you find a mentor realize that <clears throat> A lot of times they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> but that is good, and I will tell you why. Because once you learn who does not know what they're talking about, you will know what information is worthless. And that in itself is also worth a lot because you're saving your energy, you're saving your time. It's not only finding the gold, it's also finding the crap because then you can distinguish. So you need to know both. Right. And so I love how you mentioned finding a mentor and all of that mm -hmm. too, but... On the aspect of finding a mentor, the mentor can guide you in a direction, teach you what you need to know and stuff, but it's ultimately up to you to put it to use. Oh, completely. It's, I mean, to be honest, the people that I mentor, or not mentor, the people that I follow that would mentor me aren't real mentors, it's not people that I know. It's people that I emulate, like moves that they've done in their life. Right. So I look at them and I'm like, okay, like this person did this, like how can I be more like that? Like open my mind and also uh, not be held back like by what you believe is fact. And by that I mean like blockchain is so revolutionary, it's changing 
every facet of life. So if I stay stuck and think that this square is a square, hey, tomorrow it could be a circle. So you have to be completely adaptable. Like you have to know that the even our environment is changing. But like it could be it, like, although I don't think that I actually I do believe that Bitcoin will last for a long time. Who knows? Maybe something happens and it's destroyed. Maybe it's usurped by some other coin. So you actually have to like be on it. That's the one thing about crypto. I think the most important thing is like it's changing every day. If you're in the traditional stock market, you can have uh, like 1% movement in a year. Crypto mm -hmm. changes every single day. Like I'm when I'm looking at my graphs, I'm, I'm looking at my one hour, I'm looking at my four hour, I'm looking at my and my daily movements. So it's something that if you're working in traditional stock market, they don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. They look at it very differently. They're looking at larger, at larger time spans. Crypto is crazy. Also, it's so new and our volumes are so different in different tokens that they're easily manipulated. So if you have a huge whale coming in and wants to cause havoc, they can. So you cannot be emotional. This is the thing. I, you know, I have friends who are want to get into it and they're always telling me, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. If you are scared when you lose $20, <laughs> do, not, do not do this because you will have a heart attack. Right. This, you can lose a lot of money. You have to be able to not be attached to that money. And that is very hard for a lot of people to understand. But for instance, like during right now, during where what we are in what is called a bear market right now, which is like the, it's the low part. And a lot of people have lost money, mm -hmm. but it, it, you only lose money if you actually sell what you have. If you haven't moved it, you haven't lost it. You just have to wait until it expands again, until it grows. So a lot of people get too frightened looking at those numbers. Actually, the one recommendation I do have for people, if you want to get into this, um, into this space and you're very afraid and you're emotional, I'll pretty much every trader has Blockfolio. It's very useful. It keeps track of your coins and what they're worth. I would say don't use Blockfolio. <laughs> Why not? Because um, it's a daily reminder of how much money you've lost. <laughs> so if you're emotional, you can't have that reminder. You have to block it out and not see it so that you can continue with your day. So that's the only reason, because it reminds you of where you are, what your, what your standing is. And if you can't handle where your standing is every day, if you're the faint of heart, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I mean, it's it it is it is a very good tool. They're excellent. They're magnificent. But some people, this is just not for the faint of heart. You know, it isn't. Let's be honest. This is this is um, this is this is the stock market on crack cocaine. <laughs> you mentioned earlier. <laughs> that the cryptocurrency market is so volatile right now. Yes. Do you think, completely different from the traditional yes. stock market, yes. do you think there's ever a time where it will be less volatile or correlates with the stock market? Yeah, totally. I think the, the only reason that it is so volatile is because it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the initial stages of it. It's being birthed. So it's figuring out its legs. It's figuring out how it's going to walk. It's figuring out how it's going to talk. It's taking form of its own body. It's becoming its own being. And a lot of like another another thing is like a lot of these coins that are crap. They're sh that are they're sh you know they're shit coins. They're scams that are out there to steal people's money. Um, they're going to fall by the wayside, which is excellent. Like we need that. We need we need a couple of we we need a couple of shakeups, like maybe two or three more, so that this really gets cemented and becomes. Uh, it will become. It's it's going to be it, it, another viable entity. So it's just giving it the time to grow. That's it. You know what I've noticed is. When I meet people like you and people at these events and talk to them, they're friendly and everything, but they're also very passionate yeah. that it is going to become what it's destined yeah. to become. Why do you think they're so passionate when I'd say about this is just a fraction of people yeah. who believe in crypto, yeah. the rest of the people don't? I think, well, first of all, we're here in crypto and we are we're we're literally on the edge so the people that are always the first movers are the people that are a little crazy 
they, you know, I'm a little crazy. I'm sure you're a little We're crazy. We're all a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I enjoy the craziness. I enjoy the volatility. It's giving me the surges that I need. I know that this is, I can see beyond, you know. A lot of people, unfortunately, cannot see beyond. They're just limited. They think, they think, we were just having this conversation with the person in our in our Uber. They think that the dollar is real, <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's not. But they don't want to. They don't want to listen. They're just they they can't conceptualize a world where their dollar is not real, and they think that the banks are safe, and they just it's too much for them. They cannot handle it, and. I, as much as I'd like to have to change every everyone's mind, I realize that I cannot by myself. Sometimes you're talking to a brick wall. Uh, more likely, actually, like I would say, 95% of the time I'm talking to a brick wall. That's why I love doing these things because it's actually like-minded people that we can. They actually know what I'm talking about, and I can go through my conversation fast. Whereas, like with anybody else, I have to kind of like ex go through and explain everything, mm -hmm. and, and it, it, it's 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 taxing, but um, I think the difference is I really, like, I am passionate about it. I do see the things that can happen. I do, <clears throat> I do my own TA, I do my own QA, I do, I do my own FA, and when I do my own FA, I literally concentrate a lot in Asia, and Asia is 10 times more advanced than us and talk in the crypto space and pretty much everything. And we get the trickle down. It's coming to us, people. It is coming to us. Do your own FA. That's, I mean, you'll see it's coming. Like, don't be so in your, oh, like, that's not going to affect us. That's not real. It's the future. It's going to be here sooner than you think. For our inter international audience, yeah. can we elaborate on what an FA is? Fundamental. Fundamental, Fundamental analysis. analysis. So TA. It, TA. Uh, TA, qual qualitative analysis. It's it basically going through like different types of, when I'm looking at trading, uh, at my trading, I don't just look at, I just don't look at my candles and my wicks. Like, and you do, you ha like, I have to do that because I need to look at patterns wherever I can find patterns. But me, as I look at price action very mm -hmm. often because once again, crypto is extremely volatile. You can't really do that with a traditional stock, but with crypto you can, you can look at your price action and see how that's moving. And myself, I go with my intuition. Right. I really, really go with my intuition because there are a lot of a lot of calls that I've taken that don't make sense. It's like, okay, I'm looking at my uh, like, I'm looking at like, I, okay, I have like a head and shoulders movement here, and then it shouldn't be what's happening, but it does. Or you know, you have a cup and handle, and you think it's going to jump, and it doesn't. Or you have like Y cop happening here, and it's like, okay, what the hell? It, it doesn't. It just doesn't happen. Like you think A B C, and it should be D, but then it jumps to J. And you're like, okay, well, that's the moment. Like you realize this is a volatile creature. Nothing really, nothing. It's not traditional. It's not traditional. That's the thing. That's where it can screw you up. That's where you have to really sit and go with your intuition. And that's my intuition. I base it off of my FA. Like I don't just sit and look at what's happening in our part of the country. I sit and I look at what's happening in Korea. I sit and look at what's happening in China. Like, what are the regulations? Like, don't just, if you're doing your own research, don't just look at the candlesticks. You've got to understand what the laws that they're passing are doing, what they're doing to all the arena. You have to understand that what countries are incorporating and why? <laughs> Who is signing in to use, you know, Stellar? Who is accepting IOTA? Who is accepting XRP? Like, you need to understand how everything is falling in together. When you understand that, then you then you can even go further and say, like, oh my God, um, they're mining. God, I don't know. Like, they ran out of water and like, I mean, this did not happen. But hypothetically, hypothetically, hypothetically um, like there's a water shortage in Canada, which wouldn't happen because they have so much ice. But hypothetically, how that would affect mining, you know, or another uh, like you just have to think about other things outside, like really become one with the system, recognize that this is bigger and try to bring it all in. We are in a moment in life where we are all connected. We need to take advantage of that. Like I'm on my Twitter, I follow my friends that are all across the world and I ask them what is going on there right. because 
that is necessary for my for how I trade and I want to be a successful trader right. at the end of the day you're very thorough you look at the bigger picture oh my god I'm extreme I reread my white papers that's another thing nobody reads the white paper nobody reads the white paper what if they can't understand the white paper well then read it five times read it 20 times the thing is if you don't understand it, it's just because your brain has not become malleable to the formation of those words, how they've been put together. Trust me, this is elementary. If you, if you have to train your brain to think a certain way, the brain is a muscle. People forget this. A brain is a muscle. So you have to condition it. You have to work it out by rereading, 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 write it out look at it, hear it. You need to ingest it however you may, but you will understand it, I promise you. People forget because it was at such a young stage in your life when you learn to write, when you learn your letters, when you learn how to, how to count. But it takes children months to even be able to hold a pencil and to write a letter, to create the sound. But we forget that because we're so far advanced and we don't realize that what we're doing now is the same thing. You're, you're learning a whole, new, a, a whole new language. Like when I taught myself how to read, how, how to read freaking day trading, like I sat there and would just stare at the screen for hours and really, what the hell does this mean? Okay, and I would just look at it and then I'd be like, okay, well, let me research this word. Like, what's it? What's an EMA? You started nitpicking. I started nitpicking because also like, when like when you look like you know you'll you'll find a mentor and they're not very good but I also realize what makes them not good and that's why I'm saying it's good to have a mentor even if they're crappy because in finding out what their weaknesses are you're actually finding your strengths mm -hmm. so that's another thing don't negate any any kind of information like oh so this is crap like yeah so this is crap so I know what I'm not gonna invest in right you've got to know both that's the that's another problem like people don't do their own research and they're so quick to just follow anybody that they're getting scammed and that's a huge issue that I have with this because so many people don't know what they're investing in and they're losing a lot of money and that's very sad but this is this is the nature of a highly volatile market people can get away with you know, they move to the Bahamas, they move to the Caymans, and they steal your money. Like, don't be that person. Do your research. Do read the white paper. Look at who's involved, who's in the tech. Make sure they're not just shilling. Shilling you is like selling you crap. Make sure that they're actually know what they're doing, that they're, they have experience in the arena, or that they've actually followed through. Look at their background. If you can, contact them. Like, this is such a small space. You can contact these people, find them, and figure out if they really are knowledgeable about what they're doing or if they're full of crap. And so we were talking about earlier how mm -hmm. it's such a volatile market. Don't let your emotions get into the mix. Do your research and all of that. Would you say that people let their emotions get into the mix because they are looking for the lucrative side, the short-term games? Games? Yeah. though definitely. I know a lot of people that have gone out, a lot of men. I don't know a lot of women that are in the market. Pretty much, I would say 95, 98% of the... Are men. Are men. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the people that, a lot, well, they all leave because they can't handle the losses. And I'm like, well, okay, so your coin dropped. Your coin dropped, you know, <laughs> I mean a lot. But why did you sell? If As long as you hold on, you have to realize, like, it's an ebb and flow. It, you're going through the bear. It's going to go back to bull. Unless it's a scam like BitConnect, then that's something totally different. But in that case, then, you know, I feel really bad. But why didn't you, re why did you not do research on it? Right. Like, it falls back onto what you're just talking about. Read the white paper. Do, do read research, the white paper. Contact the people. Contact the contact the people. Contact the people. Read the white paper. Nobody wants to sit and read. Like I feel like we're so ADD in our society that nobody wants to sit down and read. It's because everything's so digital now. Everything is digital, and we're all so used to having like these little bits of information coming at us quickly. Like, okay, what is the pertinent information? This, 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 this. But the thing is. In life, in crypto, in everything, the devil is in the details. The beauty is in the details. The thing that is going to make you m millionaire, a billionaire, is in the details. The thing that's going to ruin you 
is in the details. The little tiny details that they omit or that they write into their white paper. That's the thing that's going to screw you over. And if you don't look at it, really look at it, then you're going to miss it. So be very thorough with your oh, research. completely, completely. You have to be thorough. And you can't, like, you have to know, like, when you speak to people, I think the more you're in it, you realize... The more you learn, the more you, your mind opens up. Oh, yeah. With, like for me, with every conference I attend, yeah. even you're opening my mind yeah. up right now. And it's stuff I've heard before, stuff I've talked about before, but it's just a repetition of I'm hearing the same thing. Like yeah. Once you start hearing it a lot and you're learning, like, hey, maybe you should start doing it. You know what I mean? I think it's like I have like I have friends who who tell me, oh, how how can I get into it? What can I do? What book can I buy? And the truth is, you cannot buy a book. You cannot just get into it. I can't tell you, you know, watch this movie, watch this. Thing. No, you can't. This is something mm. I do every day. People don't understand that. They do not understand how you can do this every day. I have to. That's the other thing. I've invested my own money. I'm working mm. with my money. I'm not working with, yeah, you know, like any random person. This is my livelihood. I'm not looking for... You're on the line. I'm on the line. So if I don't take care of myself, nobody's going to... And look at, look at where we are with our stock, like with our government, with our freaking future financial crisis that is looming. Like we cannot depend on anybody else. Like this is... This is the thing, this is, we have to go into survivalist mode. Mm -hmm. You really have to understand how, what the value that you're bringing is and how you can make money for yourself, how you can really stand up for yourself, how you can defend yourself because this is going to get crazy and either, and I'm perfectly fine, like I'm, I'm perfectly fine with the volatility of it because it will weed out the people that cannot bear it. Right, and then that's what you're saying, if your coin drops a significant amount, then hold it. Hold it. That's what, would you say, that's yeah. what a lot of people, especially here, are doing. Holding yes. their Bitcoin and everything. Oh, completely. Like, if you, <laughs> and some anyone, are buying anybody, in more. Anybody who sells their Bitcoin right now, well, either, I would say, either they're like really like broke and they have to, or they're really stupid. Because, you know, like, you like gosh coming from a normal standpoint people that aren't in the space yet yeah they're gonna be asking why are they stupid but why? then it's because you've we've seen it jump up to it's 20, going it has the potential oh my god well this is this is not financial advice but none of this is financial advice. none of this is financial advice but if we look at traditional, even, I mean, people just stay stuck on, on crypto, but you got to realize everything has movement. Even the prices of homes, like <laughs> prices of homes aren't the same as they were, you know, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. They grown, fluctuate. They fluctuate. They go up, they go down. Um, the price of gas goes up. Petrol goes up and goes down. Gold goes up and goes down. Stock market goes up and goes down. So you can't be like, oh, it's down. I lost my money. It's fake. It's a scam. First of all, your vision is so small if that's what you're saying. Like, you don't understand. Like, and that's where the FA comes into play. If you've done the FA, then you realize that the whole world is moving on and is creating a future that we are, like, you know, like, I remember a couple of years ago, like, who would have thought that we would be able to look at ourselves on our phone, you know, talk to somebody, but they were already doing that in Asia. We like, had the flip phones. We had flip phones and they were speaking to each other face to face. Like the, we are on the precipice and the, like we are going to be going deep in. This is the future. People need to understand that. And if they don't, it's going to be a huge schism. It's going to be a huge divide. It really right. is. Those that are in and those that are not. So you have to jump in. The last topic I want to talk about is you mentioned earlier that let's say about 95, 98% of the, the people in mm -hmm. this space, majority are men, yes. 95 to 98. We had a all day yesterday mm -hmm. was for the women. Yes that were panels, fire, fireside yes. chats and all of that. Yes. And there weren't many of them. Yes. How would you suggest we encourage more women to join the space? Because that is such a huge obstacle that we are facing right now. Yes. There aren't many women. There are very few women. Um, 
gosh, you know, like honestly, I all I'm I try to be an advocate amongst my female friends, and I try to get a lot of women to come into the space. But I just think it's. I, I know we want more women. I don't know how to recruit more women. I'm trying to do my best to recruit more women. <laughs> it's just, it's, it, you know, I feel like, I, I feel like a lot of it, a lot of the people that are, a lot of the men, obviously, a lot of the people, men, which is the same thing because the majority of the people here are men, they're, they've, they were let into the secret. They were let into the club early on. It's like, hey, this is going on. You know, let me get into it. I'll help you mm -hmm. out. Let's, you know, like, I'll share my knowledge with you. And because a lot of women aren't in science, they're not in, they're not in finance, they're not, not in fintech for sure, you know, like, or they're just like in the marketing side and they're in PR, they don't understand the background of it. So they're not... They're scared. They're Turn off from they're it. They're scared because they don't understand it. And that's, you know, that's FUD, that's fear. You don't understand it because you don't know it. It's like, it, I mean, that's like, unfortunately, that is a basic... <laughs> that's a, like a basic function of humanity. We're afraid of the things we don't understand, and that leads to so many problems in general. But I think the only way to, you know, get over it is to jump, jump, and like, and literally, when I tell you that I would sit and watch Trading View for hours, and I don't mean one day I watched it for hours. I'm talking about months. I sat and watched it, not knew what the hell was happening. You have to do that. You have to force yourself. I forced myself to sit there and watch it over and over and over and over and over and over. Ask myself questions about the order books. Ask myself questions about the cell walls. Learn the terminology and then learn how to move it. I learn how to how it works. Moving averages. Like you need to learn it so that you can move further. But if you're just oh I don't understand it or you're afraid to make mistakes. This is no place for you. Like once I once again I have to say like this is survivor mode. And and you know what? I'm fine with it being a lot of these guys because a lot of these guys freak out. And I'm perfectly fine because I don't. You're not going to freak out. I don't freak <laughs> out. So that's where the thing is like I feel like the people that really 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 have to work to get there are the ones that survive because they've had to struggle and really 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 they know what it takes they know what it takes not right. everybody has this is what i'm saying not everybody has what it takes and that's why i said like <laughs> you know like i love i have block folio but i can watch it a lot of people can't watch it they can't see you know their money going down so like that's like if you want to be in here if you want to do like obviously like a safe investment obviously do bitcoin like i, I don't even understand how people don't do it just buy one like right how do you not understand that buy just one or buy a percentage it's fungible like come on buy one hundred dollars worth of it you know or something like twenty dollars just worth get of your it. feet wet in it and then start start from there you don't have to start with one bitcoin no you don't from two to three you could start with Twenty dollars, one one hundredth, or one Dude, one thousand, literally. Or whatever go to you Coinbase want. and put twenty dollars in. It's so different. People, as the first moment that you put your money in and you become invested, then you, that's literally what it is. You become invested. You're putting yourself in. Your money is an extension of you. It's the mm. energy that you've provided. You've worked hard for that money. You've slaved all day for those twenty dollars. I don't know if you worked at McDonald's. I don't know if you had. You have a lucrative job. I don't know what you do, but that. That was your money. That's your, your hard your work hard, and earned money. Hard earned money. So do something with your investment. The moment you put it in and you're attached and you're seeing it go through the system, that's a whole different thing than just sitting back and speculating. When you're speculating, you're like, ah, okay, I'll turn it off. Trust me, when it's your money, it's a whole other ball game because mm -hmm. I need to succeed. Right. There's no way I'm going to lose my money. There's no way. So I'm going to do... I'm going to read all the white papers. I'm going to grill the people that I meet and see why the hell should I give you money? Why should I be invested in you? What is it what is it about you? How are you different from XYZ? Don't, you know like you need to know your things. Don't let just anybody come around and trick you. There's a lot of charlatans. Mm. You know what I've come to realize is the concepts that you talked about like it's not for the faint of heart. No, it isn't. The people who are able to withstand it's because they've been through so much and they are able to withstand what's thrown at them. Yeah. All of these concepts, 
they don't just apply in blockchain or cryptocurrency, they apply in life too. Yeah. You'll never survive in life if you fail once and give up. And what are you going to do for the rest of your life? Well, I mean, you have to get back up and do, learn from your mistakes and keep going at it. Same thing you're doing in the cryptocurrency yeah. space. You got to learn. You got to learn. And I mean, think about like people that are uber successful. Uh, you know, they've taken their losses. You can look at, you know, look at, you look at Jeff Bezos, like where he started. Mm -hmm. You know, and how much money, how much money he lost, and then you know, you, you know, you just write it out and like how much money he's worth now. Or look at Novogratz, like. You think really he had every day was amazing when he was trading? When he, no, it wasn't. I can assure you he had absolutely shitty days when he thought he was going to die because he lost so much money. But now he's in a place where all this movement that is freaking people out here, he's laughing at it because he's lived all these movements. You know, it's it's just what it is. I mean, it's, it's the same thing as like if you're... You know, if you think, if you're, if you look at a tragedy, the only thing that makes a tragedy a tragedy, it's your proximity to it. So if, you know, it's, you know, my boyfriend, I call my boyfriend in bed with another girl. Oh, it's so horrible. Oh. But then a year later, you look back and you realize, you know, the girl was like, yeah, she had one tooth and, you know. I'm completely better than her. <laughs> and she had like a patch of her one eye or, you know, whatever. And you can laugh at it because now it's comedy. Mm -hmm. So the distance from it. And I think what having experience does, it creates that distance for you because you, you realize that it's not real. It's, you need to, you need to be able to focus away from it. Enjoy it. I enjoy it because I understand that it's the future and I can create a better future for myself and I can take control of, really, this is true independence. Like, I don't even know how to explain that to other people. You know, you're tied to so many things and this is the first time in God knows how many generations where we have the ability to really take control, be our own person without anybody holding you back. Like, I don't know what is more enticing, more seductive, what is more promising. Like, what else would you want to invest in? Like, nothing. To me, there really isn't. Like, go, I mean, I, I believe, I, I went to college, I believe in college, all this, but if I had a child that was in this, it, like, was 14, 13, I'd be like, hell no, you're <laughs> the trade, we're learning. I want you to learn the analysis of how to work your money. Nobody knows how money works. And that's part of the problem. Like, and not even, I, like, I'm, not, I'm not talking about money as in fiat, I'm just talking about the concept because it really is an intangible concept it's only it only survives because of we what we project onto it mm -hmm. the value that we give to it so what are you choosing to put value in right and that's what people that aren't in the space will ask well isn't bitcoin just backed by the people that put into it so the question that i've gotten mm -hmm. asked is what happens when everybody pulls out what happens when everybody pulls out? <laughs> when everybody does not believe in Bitcoin and take all their money out. It's the same thing as what happens if everybody sells their gold? Is it worth anything? Well, I think if gold is worth any, once again, that's that's a universal accepted value that we all yeah. do. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, even if you and I, you know, pulled, or how can I explain this? Like if everybody that was in Bitcoin pulled out, that doesn't mean that they're all the people that believe because there's always, like, okay, for instance, what I'm getting at is like, for instance, um, you know, like, um, like Buffett was like very anti-Bitcoin, like this is going on, mm. or like, you know, Jamie Dimon is very anti-Bitcoin, da, da 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 Do you really believe that they're anti-Bitcoin? Like, come on, these are geniuses. Right. Geniuses. If they're telling you that they're anti-Bitcoin, they're lying. They know the future. They know the future, and I assure you they own a lot on their own, but they don't want regular folks to get in, so they're feeding the masses crap so that you are afraid. Right. So I think that just as soon as, like, you know, you create that vacancy, you create that hole, they... They jump in and they take what it is, what's available. You know what I love about you? 
You're so passionate when you talk about We need more people like this in the space because it makes it more intriguing for people yeah. who aren't in the space yeah. and pulls them in when they're listening and when they're watching content like this, they're yeah. learning. Yeah. And I guarantee you they're going to learn a lot off of this interview with you. Well, thank so you. Penelope, thank, thank you, you for so much. taking the time thank to chat Thank you for asking me. me. I had a great time. You guys get into crypto, follow my girl. She's amazing. She'll teach you a lot. And stay positive, stay balanced. Do not be emotional. Do not be an, an emotional trader is a losing trader.